Are you serious? You better drink your coffee while you still can before CERN starts to burn the entire atmosphere, or at least create such chaos in the electromagnetic sphere of the Earth that uh, your microwave will be just like a drop in the ocean compared to the power that CERN can burn as it begins to turn. What? Well, let me tell you what's going on. The first successful beam, the first successful beam recorded at the recorded energy of 6.5 TeV. Now, this happened on Thursday night. I want to show you the chart. And you see that beam right at the end here shoot up? That was the 6.5 uh, TeV, a massive explosion of energy as the uh, as the CERN and the large collider uh, was successful in circulating a beam at 6.5 TeV. Now, these are just one of the many steps that uh, CERN is working on as that before they turn, crank this accelerator up to this massive uh, maximum speed of with an energy of 13. Is that the number of the Illuminati? 13 is really where they want to go with this. Uh, 13 TeV. Now, so that means this was half speed and they were successful with it. And they're wanting to crank this beam to 13 on the TeV and then collide the protons. Will that create matter out of antimatter? Is that the God particles? Well, or will it create a potential mind-boggling, earth-shaking, wormhole-forming? Will it open the portals of hell? I don't know. Why mess with this? Even Stephen Hawkins says, what are you doing? Um, but they're going to do it, folks. They have to find out. They must. There's two curious. They have to. They have to play God. Problem is, they're not God, and they'll find that out. Well, anyway, as these things unfold, we're going to talk about great signs and fearful sights tonight on the live broadcast. Don't miss it. it starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. The drought in California. The, the unbelievable lightning bolt that was unreal. It was not just one bolt. It was three bolts. It was with a bunch of uh, branches from them and lit up the sky in Illinois. It was something of biblical proportions. I haven't seen, nobody has seen anything quite like it yet. We were told, we were warned a year ago that we would start seeing these unbelievable thunderbolts because the atmosphere is being filled with chargeable particles as the dust starts to settle. Something biblical is going on, folks, with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Now, Jesus told us in Luke chapter 21, he said there will be uh, great signs and fearful sights. Matter of fact, I preached on that today, on the great signs and fearful sights. I preached out of St. Luke's Gospel 21, and there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and distress among nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the sign of the Son of Man coming with the clouds with power and great glory. When these things begin to come to pass, he says, look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And then we went over into Peter and talked about how the, the Bible talks about the elements are going to melt with fervent heat. All right. And even David Wilkerson in 1973 prophesied of a great solar cosmic storm and the elements on fire in space. Are you saved? 